every student can be successful at something. You find that something and you nurture that success. And for me, that's what the collaborative learning initiative helps me do. It helps me see my students succeed. And it helps me learn, grow, and develop. And by doing that, I'm only helping my students learn, succeed, grow, and develop. The most important thing is um, with all the working in groups and having to come up with a schedule, all the responsibilities, that's obviously going to help with having a job and all the responsibilities of adulthood. All the working in groups and having to rely on each other helps with all our social skills and I don't feel like I'm on my own. I always feel like a big family at Northeast. Everybody's all in this together. It goes beyond the classroom because it, I see it in everyday life, like where I work and um, just using all the things that we learn outside of class. It's not just for my next exam, we use it every day. Cooperative learning is something that I think is essential to the classroom, not only because of the fact that students need to have that skill to get a job, but they also, unless they're going to be professional hermits, they're going to be working with other people. And in that case, they're going to have to be able to work cooperatively with others. Many of our faculty were already doing student-centered learning, but what this program gave us a chance to do was to put it under a microscope, examine it, uh, to look at what the principles of that was. And so that's, some of the, that's really changed me in many ways, being able to look at something in a different way. Um, but it's not important, so much important to be able to describe it as it is to do it. The different uh, parts of STEP has really made me, as an instructor, um, not only step out of my comfort zone, but it has helped me see um, things from different perspectives. Um, letting students have some control over the classroom, because it's not just my classroom, it's theirs. It's a shared responsibility, I believe, between the instructor and the student. The group work definitely helps me out because half the time I kind of might not listen to what's going on. <laughs> so people have to help me and stuff. And uh, I have had other classes that have cooperative learning and I, I do way better in those classes. I, didn't, I mean, I didn't know anybody in any of my classes. And we being in that class, we, I made a lot of friends that I didn't have before. The first couple times students have to do this, it, it can be very difficult and hard for them. But after the first couple times, students get to know some of their other classmates that maybe they, they didn't have the chance to get to know or talk to before. Um, so, you know, besides the social networking and, and, and getting, for some students, better social skills, um, I think that it, students have really, it, it makes them more comfortable. Most of my classes that I've had with this style of teaching have been highly centered around group work and group learning and collaborating with each other, which is what a big part of my career will be eventually. Um, and if college is supposed to be preparing me for my career in the future, then it's a good thing to be doing now. With collaborative learning, you can apply this in a lot of different areas. We can have student-student interactions. We can have students come together doing study groups where they can work with each other, learn from each other. We can have student-faculty collaborative learning. We can have faculty getting together with students outside the classroom and that allows the students to ask more questions, the faculty to determine what the students do and do not know and where they need to work at. You can have faculty-faculty collaborative learning. You can have a couple of faculty members coming together and trying to determine what the best way to teach students is. Learning here at Northeast State has been very different for me because I'm used to sitting in a class, you know, lecture, test, study guide, that's it. And then I come here and they want you to be more interactive. There's more groups. And I usually hated groups until I came here because then I learned a completely different scenario of people that really want to learn as much as you do and put in the effort as much as you do. And I learn better with other people there. Research had to be determined that was applicable to the college, that was um, cutting edge, shall we say, that was successful at other institutions. So a team from our school actually went out and tried to do some research and find what the best programs were out there to improve the teaching at Northeast State. We came in 
and we gave suggestions to people on how they could tweak their classes and gave them options on how to do it. So faculty got to choose what they do and they seem to really not just appreciate it and not just do it because it was required, but it seemed to revive an excitement about teaching that maybe you kind of lose when you do the same course over and over and over again. They started thinking about doing things a different way and they not only looked at their own lesson plans, but they started talking to each other. So it opened up collaboration, not just between um, the students, but between the faculty. I think the cooperative learning is very useful because when you do have a job, you work with other people and having people's skills and being able to work in a group is very important. You learn from each other, but you also help teach um, other people. So it's important to do your work, but also learn from everyone else. It helps you understand yourself and how you learn better than just sitting there and looking out of a book. You can ask help of other students more frequently. You can collaborate with everyone in the classroom if you want to, or just one person. And that's what I think the STEP program is about, is being able to help a student become more confident in themselves and how they learn, and being able to take what they have and apply it to everything else that they have in their knowledge, in their workplace, in their school, in their other classes, at home, and being able to be the best person that they can in everything that they do.